Hello, Hi. welcome back to another week of Unofficial Missionaries. Oh yeah. My name is Izzy. I am Justin. Hello. <laughs> Today we're going to go over the last part of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, right. which is eternal life. Wait, is that... Isn't okay? that what you want? And during to the end. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little confused, like, as you're saying that. I was like... Today we're going to talk about... Enduring. To... The... Last part of the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, we're stoked about it because this is, I think, the most important part of the gospel right. of Jesus Christ. Everything else is kind of, I feel like, the hype moments, like, yeah. you're repenting, you're coming into Christ, you're being baptized, you and you're, like, getting so Yeah, it's stoked. like these, very, these big moments, these landmarks in mm -hmm. your life. You know. And you're like, they're these very powerful moments, I feel like. Right. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people go through, especially converts to the church, it's a very powerful thing. Right. And then when real life hits, it's like... Well, right, because because you you're oh I've had faith and I've been mm -hmm. baptized and I've changed you know because like we've talked about commandments and you have to make changes to keep those commandments and mm -hmm. repented and you get confirmed a member and and all your friends are so happy for you because like you've been baptized you've done it and then the next day is a normal day yeah and you have to just live your best yeah life. and then, then it's like, just oh. day after day after day and then hard things happen and maybe it doesn't have that excitement of a baptism mm -hmm. you know and and maybe it's like not like it's not just okay it's a new thing that i'm learning and changing but it's just like okay i know these things and now i just have to keep on living, living them, them. Yeah. and we're like making it sound depressing but it's not really that depressing <laughs> no but it's just it's not necessarily it's not the like, most exciting yeah. crazy thing yeah but it but it's the most important it's so important and it, it can be this like exciting moments like i as long what? as you endure to the end you know as long as you're like getting each day is like becoming a little closer to Christ. There can be these like big moments again where you're I like, disagree. I think it's miserable and terrible the entire time. <laughs> I feel like enduring the the idea of enduring is like, oh, I'm scraping by, like I'm trying oh, yeah. so, so hard. I, in my mission, my they would always say, because uh, in Spanish it's persevere, perseverar, yeah. hacer. See, I love that. And so like, yeah, it's a little more, it's less than like, the endure to the end, yeah, it makes it sound like, okay, you're getting punched, but you just gotta... You just, you gotta, just gotta get up and oh, go. Keep on going. Yeah. Like, every time you get knocked down, just Which get back up. sometimes it feels like that. <laughs> and, yeah, it's gonna happen, for sure. But persevere is a little more like, let's just keep pushing forward. Mm -hmm. You know, keep on pushing the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Whatever, like, if I, learning new things about the gospel, constantly growing, helping mm -hmm. more people, instead of it just... Okay, I'm going to survive what hits me. Yeah, survival, it's, like, the, each day. Yeah, the world needs to survive me. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to take it by storm. <laughs> That's what the gospel is. I love yeah. that. The world needs to survive me. Me and, and Justin. And not in a crazy way, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, if you want to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> that too. Uh, we kind of just want to go over a little bit of like how, what that means. You know, mm -hmm. how you can do that. How can you live the gospel? How can you endure or persevere until the end? Because um, life is long. You know, there's a lot of stuff. And we just we just gotta do our best until the Savior comes. Oh, okay. The, the another thing. It's not about just doing the best, and then the Savior comes, and then now you can stop doing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's about becoming something else. Yeah. So that's like the key: enduring to the end, persevering. It's not just living the gospel until the Savior comes, and then I'm good. It's about becoming the kind of person who enjoys living the gospel every day. And it's changing in your heart and your mind who you are and how you are. And that takes a process. And so we want to change as much as we can so that when the Savior comes, he sees that light in us and he sees that that change. We truly have changed. Yeah. I love that. I think that this is probably the hardest principle for me, unfortunately, is uh, the idea that enduring to the end, like, some days feel really hard to do that, you know? And um, I think one of the hardest times in my life um, was coming home from my mission. So I think any, any missionary can say this, and I'm not, obviously, if you're just listening to these, you don't fully understand maybe what a mission is, but we teach people the gospel of Jesus Christ 24-7, like, that's all you do, and you come home, and it's like, okay, who am I? <laughs> like, what do I offer, you right. know? And I think the principle of enduring to the end has become more real for me in the past three years I've been home than ever before, Right. Um, because I truly have had to fight to to get that relationship with Christ. I've had to fight to like know him, you know, and it's, 
it, I truly can say it's been a fight. And I love that, um, that enduring to the end isn't, isn't just like, oh, we're passively living our lives, but we're fighting each day to know Christ. Because right. what the world wants us to do is it wants us to come farther away from Christ. You feel that every right. day with like new principles, going to school, even like some teachers are, will talk about things and I'm like, oh, like, I don't know what I believe anymore, but right. it helps me to be like, no, I know what I believe. I know who I am. And like, does that make sense? No, it's totally. It's like fight of like, I know right. My soul knows right. Right. And I know the commandments. I know what I believe. I know my covenants. And and that's like... Well, and, and it's like, I wish it was as easy as to just make the decision like, and be done. You know, like, okay, yeah. I'm going to follow Jesus Christ and then like, I'm good. Yeah. But um, life gets so much more confusing than that. And temptations from the devil come in so many different ways. And you have to constantly be strengthening your testimony. I mean, we go to church every Sunday to take the sacrament to renew, and we'll talk more about this in other episodes, but to renew that baptismal covenant. Mm -hmm. Because just because we got baptized doesn't mean like we're perfect. So we have a chance to remember those covenants that we made every week. Yeah. And and then we also like needed to be reading the scriptures and and this okay. I used to think that we just did these things because they told us to, because my mom told me that I needed to when I was a kid. Why? Because you said so? Yes, because I said so! But like, yeah. it took a long time for me to understand that like, it's not about, it's not so much about that's right or wrong and do's and don'ts, but it's just this idea that when you read the scriptures, the spirit's just in your life and you're just mm -hmm. strengthened and you feel happier. You just do. When you talk to Heavenly Father and create this relationship with him, you just feel better and he guides you and you're closer, you're more pure. That's just how it works. Um, when I like came home from my mission, um, I was like really a good year. My mission was like afterwards, I was like so solid and doing everything I needed to, but I just kind of got tired. Just kind of got harder. Mm -hmm. And and I just started, I started reading my scriptures less. I started praying less and I still went to church every Sunday and I'm like, well, I'm still a good member because I go to the church every doing, Sunday. Yeah. But then Things started happening, you know, I was diagnosed with um, anxiety and depression, and then, you know, I, there's like a breakup, and then my, my grandpa died, my dog died, all these things hit me, and I couldn't take them. I didn't have the strength, I hadn't been reading my scriptures and studying, I hadn't been building my spirituality, so that when these things happen, um, I wasn't in the best place. And so enduring to the end involves a lot of just preparing yourself constantly. Because maybe today is a good day, so today's the day we should prepare for the bad days, you know? And, <laughs> the good days and, prepare for the bad days. Yeah, day. and when the bad days come, they're less bad, yeah. and they're less heavy. Because Be you know who's by your side. You have this Holy Ghost that we talked about that's, like, stronger within you to, like, help you get through hard things. Because the, it's a comforter, too. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost is, like, it's a guider, but it's also a comforter. It doesn't take away the pain, but mm -hmm. it definitely lessens the blow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It makes it, it gives you hope, I feel like. That's that's the biggest thing that I feel like the gospel of Jesus Christ does in this idea of enduring to the end is like the world, I don't know, I just, so I experienced a breakup as well and I feel like when I talk to my friends who are not a part of the church, not that they're bad, yeah. it's just like, oh, he's a loser. Like <laughs> there's better men what out there butt. for you, you know? Like it's this, it's this. And they're like, ah. Oh. And you, you kind of dwell on those sad feelings and you're like, oh, like life won't go on. But with the gospel of Jesus Christ on my side and when I speak with my friends, like last night I went to the temple with one of my friends and she just was like so empowering when she spoke of the gospel and she spoke of like God and hope and it wasn't this like, he's an idiot, he's a loser. It right. was more just like hopeful and yeah. beautiful. And I feel like that's what the gospel does for us. It gives us right. hope um, in good things to come. It doesn't make us just kind of sit and dwell in yeah. sadness and like the things that happen that are wrong if that makes sense no exactly and i we know that if you guys um start, apply these principles you know whether you just trying it out you know don't you have no idea if any of these things are even real but if you just try it you just put a little faith in there that you will feel that difference and if you are doing it then keep doing it you know yeah. like it's just and it just gets better and better and sweeter and sweeter so we're really grateful that you guys took the time to watch and, and to learn about the gospel. We hope that if you have any questions specifically that you can uh, put in the comments, but also maybe some experiences you've had of how you've been able to overcome the trials and 
or maybe not even trials, maybe just some awesome, fun, experiences. happy experiences. Because yeah. there's lots of those too. And we pray that you guys um, can feel the spirit in your lives guiding you. Um, we, we pray for you. We love you. Um, please like our channel. Um, share it. Share these videos. We love it. And we hope to see you guys in our future episodes. We love you. Yeah. We're not in them, but oh, yeah. watching them. Please <laughs> do. We hope you all you come be here guest? in the studio. <laughs> Yeah, see, say it's unscripted when you guess. Yeah, there true. isn't like room for a guess here. If you wanted to. Have to sit on there. We definitely Insert you here. <laughs> um, okay. You guys are real though. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>